I mean, you gotta be focused, you gotta prepare, but it's like we talked about, it's all about that confidence, right? You gotta tell yourself, I can do this, I'm the best player, and I'm gonna take the win. If you don't do that, the chances are you're not gonna win. All right, thanks a lot, Juicy. We'll see him again a little bit later in the day. Hey, but for now, Andrew Guy, I know you love what you're seeing. It's mortar to open things up. Oh, you know, I, I really do love what I'm seeing. I also oh really God, love so seeing cool. the Rascals, just because, you know, uh, after time. getting that recent buff, the change in the way that they're placed the on the map when you drop it, uh, it, it's a card that I think people are still trying to feel out and decide whether or not it is viable. I think, in general, the the consensus is that it's not 100% viable, but I'm excited to see Sam play it, and, and I'm also excited to see him pair it with Skeleton King. He's going to have a bit of his hands full, though, depending on what his big spell is dealing with that musket tier and of course it's always a little Ooh, annoying like, when you're playing yeah, mortar yeah, and you, you have to deal with hog eq it's not ever That's like just idea. all sewn up but it definitely makes the, the matchup a little bit frustrating oh, it's coming. so it's hog to the left hand good. side a little pre-log there does get two of the skeletons off and this eq the body blocks might be sufficient to yeah. slow down this hog no the hog oh, threads the yeah, needle the gonna get yeah, one take no it out there gonna get two here comes hit number three wow. and the oh, hog raid so continues. continues yeah i mean i thought you were talking about the body block there from the mighty miner protecting like the game, hog there game. doing putting good in the game. work getting on top of that skeleton like king shocking shocking <gasps> little <gasps> bit of interactions uh, there for sam i mean nothing game. went his way then he gets the last second snowball in and you know you understand he was trying to prevent the last hog hit but then he spends the all of his round. elixir, opens the gates to a fresh right, hog, final. and now kind of a desperation play in the opposite lane. Uh, it, just a hey, tough one, because okay, also playing against Graveyard here, going up against Musketeer, you don't have a great spell to deal with the Muskie, and if you do want to double spell the Muskie out, up to then you have to deal with the Goblins. So uh, I, I think the matchup was already tough. Moogie played it perfect. Hang me. So game number one, this was the potentially deciding game, and you know, you look at Sam's body language, facial language here. Certainly, we uh, maybe a little bit more. We know he has some emotions here and there, but pretty expressive. He seems a little Let's bit, uh, a little bit off kilter two. at the moment. Yeah. I mean, two. I'd be super annoyed with how that Ooh, game wait, went. Wait, honestly, wait, I mean, you're trying to play something that's a little bit different than what we've seen so far in the competitive meta, and then you basically drop the ball on figuring out whether or not it's viable at the highest level because of the very first offensive push from your opponent. So we'll see if Sam can reset here in game two. Minor wall breakers for Sam Gay to game two and the minor picked up easily mm, by the Golden like Knight. Zion, mighty minor. We'll see which of the many variations minor, and mighty not minor. going with the minor wall breakers MK Prince that's been so popular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is kind Come of the on, version that's taken like over, especially Zion. if it's the version with the Musketeer, and you see Sam having to drop those extra goblins, maybe just going a step early no, on that ability. Long, long. One of those Wallbreakers untouched, though, should get a nice no. connection. So many mis in row. A little bit of NATO work there to clean things Plus, up might, as we get past the first minute of gameplay. Sure. It's all Sam here. It's, Has he righted the ship, Andrew? Yeah. yeah, I mean, maybe. Yeah. You see a misplay there by Moogie. Moogie. You know, he doesn't get yeah. the kick tower activation with Moogie that NATO, and yeah. then that allows Sam to send the miter to a different spot. So right now, doing all things correctly, it is the Musketeer version, which is great, Moogie. because Wee. yesterday I started the broadcast off with, I think, two wrong calls right and out the gates. Be. Guys, it's 6 a.m. here, okay? Give me a break. Line. Grand final. And just a little log cycle here. Sam full up on Elixir. And you know, we talk about this being a champion's weekend. Obviously, Moogie, the world 2021 championship. world champion, alongside his heavy success, both on ladder and in CRL East. On the Samuel Basoto side, winning that 2020 CRL West spring season with Space Station Gaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah, he also yeah. being a ladder yeah, champion yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, good old Space Station. Feels like a, a long time ago now, but those are some good old days. And defenses should be pretty fun here for Sam. I mean, you've got the ability to create a lot of opposite lane pressure or, sing, or, or same lane pressure if you want. And then the Musketeer coupled with that bomb tower, you see him playing them on top of each other right here because he knows that Moogie's not going to go for a big spell in that moment. But later on, he can play the bomb tower towards the center, Musketeer offset, and have some nice defenses. Going to have to make Moogie innovate with the Nados. And going for the catch with the cannon here will at least prevent the Musketeer damage, but trying to stop everything is just going to be a tall order for Moogie as the ability for the Mighty Miner activates and mm. does get picked mm. up by the Electro Giant. So far in this competition <laughs> for April, Moogie two and two out of three, two of three wins. 
with Ejai in play against top 16 opponents. <clears throat> Getting a little nervous here for Sam. I mean, he's, he's still doing a pretty good job, and obviously he's in the damage lead by about 900, but I, I almost wish Juicy was on the cast for this because Juicy really knows this deck inside and out. But I can already kind of feel the tides turning oh, in like Moody's favor, and especially if Sam can't get a bomb tower down in time, no, this is not too. good because Moogie's already back around to another E-Giant, oh. and he's got a lot of pressure in that right-hand lane. This is all trouble for Sam. And that's going to be like way, so way down. 11.23 with just a minute 45 remaining. And this, as you called it, the pressure is mounting on the right-hand side. Cannon oh, takes bro. care of all of this. Oh, this is... Does it? <laughs> there we go. Cannon barely does its work there. And yeah, I mean, this is... I just know playing against this deck, because I love playing minor control sure. and obviously love playing minor mortar control, is just that as you get into double and triple elixir, uh, you can kind of feel whether or not the game's going in your direction. And it feels right oh. now that Sam still has a chance, but Moogie is really kind of turning it towards his favor, especially as we get these next 15 seconds off the clock. Yeah. And there's the question of at what point does Lightning come more into play for Moogie in this matchup. But with the minor poison starting to stack up, that's a big gap open back up for Sam Webblesoda. Yeah, I mean, that's a good job there by Sam. Spends a lot, and now you see Moogie kind of setting up for one of his last pushes. Gets the high cannon there, which is going to give poison value, but oh, I just don't know. I mean, a couple minor poisons and we could be there, but this is Moogie's shot and a nice bar barrel onto the bomb tower, trying to release this Electro Giant. Cannon there oh. does not pick up, and you see that placement for the Miner. Does not allow the pickup for the Cannon, and does not allow the Nato to King Tower. Look, Miner, please. Do it. Do it Can he pull? Nato wow. goes to the King Tower, but that's gonna be it. GG, well played. <laughs> Here comes game number three. <laughs> well played. And you can see there uh, an almost completely healthy E-Giant on the tower. <clears throat> in those final moments, Sam seeing the finish line, recognizing just Poison. how far it is, okay, and that, jumps in just in time to beat out Moogie to get us to game three. Moogie. Love to see it. Good luck, Moogie. Pog and Electro Giant luck, so far play for Moogie. 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 We'll see what he has in store for game number three. Sam did a really good job of creating just Moogie. enough pressure Ready? in that left hand it's lane like to make it where Moogie could Moogie. never really Let's get go. a Golden Knight plus E Giant plus NATO combo going in that right-hand lane, which is really what you need to shoot for when you're in double and triple elixir. Doing what he did throughout single and a okay, good part of double was fine, point. but once he got towards that, that second half of double and into triple, you want to try to get at least one of those chains off. Soto just not making good. it happen. Great, great job there by the Brazilian. And a fish battle here in the middle. Good. Right, oh, right, 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 coming. Let's go, both let's go. players no, have wait, fireball sorry. available. Oh, and sorry, Hulk. Royal Giant and Fireball Mama, was Mama very, very popular it. yesterday. It's yeah. Although Sam might Royal be going Zion. to win. Right, we wait. Ooh, we can go. Hey, Ro, good. Firecracker. A lot of fun. Yeah. Firecracker, she's been showing up just a little bit more, we I think, because archers right. were everywhere, and then arrows were everywhere, yes. and then archers stopped showing up as much, so then Fire arrows wood. stopped showing yes. up as much, and then you get Firecracker. It's it's always fun to watch the meta evolve. Yeah. Woogie. And Sam certainly <laughs> happy to have Fireball Woogie. rather than Lightning in this one. Shuts down mm. that Pix push Woogie. fairly simply as we go past the midway point of regulation <laughs> time, though so far it's Woogie. Moogie pitching a shutout, no damage <laughs> either side. Sam Basoto taking around 300-ish in that left-hand lane. Now, Sam's got some luxuries at his hand to deal with those piggies. I mean, uh, each time he's probably gonna have to take a little bit of damage depending on how much he wants mm. to spend. The nice thing is he has Fireball for that flying machine, <laughs> he has Mega Minion for the flying machine, and he also has the monk ability. Very interesting going with Fire, and I, this looks like Royal Giant for Sam. It's very interesting going with the Mega Minion and Firecracker Ooh, combination as opposed to the more com more common uh, Phoenix Mega and Hunter yeah, I mean, you know, he used the Phoenix earlier on, so that's like, that's oh, that makes yeah, sense yeah. for the Mega Minion. But this I agree, boy, the Firecracker, man. a bit of a surprise here, yeah, I mean, and Sam what doing okay what with it. I mean, he's he getting does. decent damage right now. I'm a the little fireball. worried about the counter push he's going to have to deal with, and that's that's a pretty good okay, Fireball. Okay, right, how's it coming, the Fireball? A lot on the board here, fire, and the Fireball out of cycle, so Pigs come right down behind. Here to see a nice little Bar Barrel Electro Spirit play. Mega Minion going to work. Giant Skeleton, wow. Ooh. Don't forget that ghost Good. and that forces the monk out. The monk here. should go That's into awesome. ability here to take care of the flying yeah. machine as it's not in range of the tower. Andrew, as we go into sudden death overtime,
How do you feel about Sam's chances here in up, shutting down these pushes as they get deeper and deeper? Well, I'll be honest, I really liked what he did there. I think the Firecracker being able to add in some basic spell damage, if you will, because she's so hard to get on top of. There you go, arrows have to come out. And then the Mega Minion as well, with the Bar Barrel and the E-Spirit, did a pretty good job of cleaning up those Hogs pushes. So honestly, if I'm Sam, I'm feeling good at where I'm at. I'm probably like trying to do yes. what he's doing right yeah. now and, and just keep playing passive, you know? He's getting good damage. He doesn't need to force in another Royal Giant at the moment. He's got a great damage lead. Solid fireball there for Sam, opening that up to 1347. Bottom left-hand side, arrows go. just being saved for those firecrackers right now on yeah. the side of Moogie. I kind of wish that Sam saved those firecrackers to play more towards the center, but I think it was a cycle issue of wanting to get it on the board, and then if he played it off to the right, it would have just walked into no man's land. So you see here, playing it there so they can get shots that aim it oh. towards the Bible. center if she stays alive or if the unit stays alive. And nice pick nice, there the boy. by the fisherman on the firecracker. Not the way Sam wanted that all to be sequenced. And here we go. On. Is yes. this the big Arrow moment coming. for Moogie? As we go into Wait, triple, Arrow. we see Fireball go clean that up on the right. Zane, but Zane look at this giant skeleton oh, trying to escape oh, to the left. This. It might get there. No. Just in time. And that no, was damage. a juicy no, fireball from Sam. They're getting everything he needed off the board for Moogie. Still has a 600 Moogie, plus a fighter, damage fighter, lead, fighter. but you just saw a big breath taken there by Samuel Basoto, knowing that that giant skeleton got dangerously close. And again, Fisherman this time not able to get to the firecracker. Arrows do their job. Monk gets pulled in and Dude, does get those finish. mega minions. Just Putting in work on that giant skelly, you love to see it. And look at the, this is the general doubling up we're seeing on Sam's side. Two firecrackers at one point, two mega minions. Yep. I mean, that's what you want to do. Those those mega minions, he cannot deal with. Moogie cannot deal with right the mega now. minions at all. So stack the board with them. Get as many firecrackers down as you can, because then the firecrackers, you know, you can only use arrows in one spot. And this was a great, great game Hulk, by please? Sam. I mean, I think we saw no, one Moogie. royal giant the whole game. Otherwise, it was just yeah. perfect, perfect no. game management. And now we see a celebration there. That's the no, celebration you see from Moogie. Sam when he knows 